Not understanding what the customer wants is another huge mistake, huge mistake that plumbing entrepreneurs make, okay? And I guess a way to put that, a better way of putting that is not understanding what the customer really wants, what the right customer really wants, okay? And here's when we get in a situation of, you know, do they want the fix? Okay, well, they just want, they want the problem fixed, right? They just want, they want, they want, the, they want their plumbing fixed. No, that's not the case, okay? It has to do with time, okay, and their time. What the right customer, okay, really wants is their time back. Yep. Okay, so it's understanding that. And that's, that's a hurdle to get through right. or to get over, okay? Mm -hmm. Or just crash through it. Just get, get, get right on by it. <laughs> a lot of guys get hung up on that hurdle. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, I'm here to fix the plumbing. No, you're not. You're there to get uh, Mrs. Jones her time back. Yeah. You do that, mm -hmm. all right, you're gonna be successful. Get her time back, okay? In fact, there's, there's a common theme through all of this. And uh, I know my, my private clients hear me say this a lot. It ain't about plumbing, mm -hmm. okay? To, to be successful with a plumbing business, okay? Uh, to create a self-sustaining, all right, and very profitable plumbing business that provides you that freedom lifestyle that you desire, mm -hmm. if, if, that's, if that's the life that you want, okay, all right, uh, you must come to the understanding that it has very little, your business has very little to do with plumbing, mm -hmm. okay, all right, yep. and certainly with the right customer and what the right customer really wants, yeah, they called you about the leaky toilet, right. but that's, you know, that's really not what emotionally is going on and what they're concerned about. They're concerned about their time, okay? Their time.